If there's anyone dominating the mainstream media, it's Taylor Swift. With her many album releases, stadium tour, and new tour documentary, her tour alone has been breaking records, already grossing $800 million, and it's still going. From crashing Google to literally causing an earthquake, there's nothing her fan base can't do. This week, we spoke to NHS students and Eras Tour moviegoers about their opinions and experiences regarding the superstar. I mean, I think Taylor Swift is so popular because her songwriting is just so versatile and so many things are going on in the world and you can just kind of apply her lyrics to that. And then also her tour has helped like all of her re-recordings and like just new music and like she dropped two albums during COVID so just she's constantly making headlines. It's just been like an economic boom like everywhere she goes and another part of it I think is like with her recent like NFL kind of debut <laughs> almost. I think that Taylor Swift is so popular because her fan base is largely um, is majority made up of women and I think it's a great place right now with all with everything going on for women and girls to connect. Her start as a young girl teenage girl in country where teenage girls were not being given like anything really to latch onto in the genre is definitely what like put her on the stage. I don't think Taylor Swift was ever unpopular except for maybe around the 2016 uh, reputation scandal thing but I think because of TikTok mostly and the way her songs will constantly go viral with like lyrics that people will post like edits or whatever. I went in May uh, I was at an, I went to the Gillette Stadium show and I think the highlight was probably nothing new because we were the only shows that got that. It was a song with Phoebe Bridgers. I went to Gillette Night 2 which was the rain show and that was an insane experience because it was pouring the entire time. It was an experience that I wouldn't trade for the world. It was amazing. It was three and a half hours and Taylor performed in the pouring rain and she managed to do that and then get up the next day and do it again. I have not gone to the Eras Tour but I was at the Eras Tour movie um, and it was it was very it was a very good experience. It was I couldn't really tell if anyone else was like singing along or anything because it was so loud, but it was great. I got like friendship bracelets from people. Um, I listen to her music like tw twice a day for like at least an hour, probably every day, <laughs> a lot. She's my second played artist on Spotify in the last six months. If I'm in the car with somebody and I'm putting on music, I'm probably putting on a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> My favorite album is 1989 because the album is just so much fun. I love a good pop album. My favorite album is Folklore because I think it has this sort of like, po she really leaned into the sort of poeticism. Probably 1989 just because I've been like with her release of 1989 Taylor's version coming up. I've kind of like gone back to listen to it a few times. My favorite album is definitely Reputation. My favorite album is Folklore because that is what got me into Taylor Swift in the first place and it is my um, inspiration whenever I try to write songs or poems. My favorite album is Evermore. Um, I think it's a really underrated album because I don't think a lot of people, like when you think Taylor Swift, I don't think a lot of people think Evermore. It's hard to say what my favorite album is because I think it's between two and they're both very nostalgia driven, but Speech Now, I was released in 2010, so it was really early in my childhood and I'm really attached to it. It had my first ever favorite song on it, but 1989 is the era I think of when I think of Taylor Swift. Ask me that right now, I'm gonna tell you Evermore because it's fall and it's, you know, rainy day vibes, but like ask me in a week and I'll probably tell you Red, and then a week after that it'll probably be something else. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay fearless. Thanks for watching, and meet me at midnight. Thanks for watching, and remember, there will be no explanation, there will only be reputation.